great, but that's a great question, though. Cool? All right. So, hey, David. Let's get back into what we were discussing last time, which was Bert and Ernie. Who, who was right? Which was Bert and Ernie, if you remember Bert and Ernie. Yeah. Now, it's been five days, which means you've probably forgotten why we were even talking about Bert and Ernie. And that's okay. Say again. No, that was the question. Thank you, Kelly. That was the question, is who's the better student? And I said, and please quantify your results. And please quantify your result. And you guys filled the board with your quantifications. If I remember correctly, which I don't, but I know you did this, you actually broke down the students and you started calculating some measures for them. You calculated their average, you calculated their median. Let's see what their averages were. Um, Ernie's is 81 for sure. And Bert's is 81 exactly? Thank you guys. So you said, well, on average are the same. Cool. Bert, uh, excuse me, median. Uh, Ernie's also 81, isn't he? Because it's 83, 82, 81, 80, 79. So Ernie's 81. Yep, Bert's is 82. <laughs> to which some people said Bert's the better student because he's got one more point in median. And I said, that's fine. That's a quantification. I said, I said personally, because we agreed that we were going to take these out of 100 points, I said that one percentage point was too close to call, so I called, this, I called them exactly the same. Somebody did a trim. Joanne, you tossed, I remember, you tossed the lowest off? The two lowest. You, oh, the two true. lowest, or was it the two lowest or the lowest and the highest? The two lowest. Oh, you mean Bert's lowest and Ernie's lowest. So we did, we did actually three different trims. I remember this now, the very end of class. Because you threw off Bert 61 and Ernie 79, and then Bert looked better on average. But then I said, well, why not throw out the highest? And throw out Ernie's 100, excuse me, Ernie's 83 and Bert's 100, and then Ernie looked better. And then I said, really? Yes, Tara, that was the whole point was, technically what you should do is a trimmed mean. And I go back to this on the exam, if you, in case you forget. We've talked about it now a couple times. But the idea of a trimmed mean is you actually cut the high and the low off. And, and students don't like this because you lose your best work. But statisticians love it because it calls your absolute best work a fluke and your absolute worst work a fluke. To which students go, to hell with that, I got 100. Well, the only reason you should be upset about that is if 100 was your outlier. If you're consistently doing well and I drop 100, you probably got a few more high grades that are close to that. When Bert's got that 94 in there, so he's got not a whole lot to complain about, right? Ish. I'm, I'm being overly simplistic because there are five numbers here. If we had more numbers, it'd be more of a pattern to see. So what were the trims? Um, Ernie's is still 81. Yep. He's still dead center, 81. What was Bert's? 81.3. 81 in the third. Thank you. So I think we walked out of the room feeling what? <coughs> They're the same student on average. average. Good. But then I heard some fairly subjective comments. Like, I think Randall, Bert's lazy. Is that what I heard you say? He is. Bert's, Bert's lazy, he is. Okay, so that's subjective. Yeah, he's like, that's subjective. Else said he's, a cheater. he's a cheater. That was another one we heard, right? He's a cheater. Good. These are very tricky because you can't prove or disprove them. So all we can say is, and then I asked, why would you say such a thing about Bert?